Hi folks, JD with Icotech Game Calls. Today I want to show you how to add new sounds to your Nomad, Hellion, Outlaw, or Night Stalker Plus game calls from Icotech. Each one of those callers uses an SD card to operate off of. So I'm going to show you on a Windows laptop how to categorize your sounds that you want to add to the caller and then add them to your SD card, update your remote on the caller so that you can use them. There's multiple ways to connect your SD card to your computer. If your computer has a direct slot for the SD card, that's one way. Icotech provides the cable that the caller has a port that will connect via using this cable to a USB port on the laptop. Or if your computer doesn't have the full-size SD slot, you can get an attachment to it and connect through a USB port that does have. And that's how I'm going to connect here today for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, when you connect your SD card, it's going to open the drive up. And it's going to show you here all the different folders that are on this card. And in these folders, your sounds are located. So you got all your coyote sounds, you know, each one's categorized. So what I would highly recommend when you first get the caller is copying all these folders. All right. And creating a backup on your computer. You know, I'll create a new folder and I'll name it like Ico back up all right and then i will paste those folders and all those sounds into that backup that way if anything ever happens to the sd card and you have to create a new sd card then you've got those sounds stored on your computer to create that new sd card with so you never lose those sounds that process will take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it for now. But that's something I wanted to show you that and recommend that you should do. Okay, we'll go back to the SD card. Now I've got full control over this SD card. Yeah, I can take these folders off. Say, I, you know, I just did my backup. I've got them all saved in my computer. And I don't want bear on my SD card. I don't want it on my collar or I don't want the elk or I don't want elk. I don't want javelina. I don't want the moose or the, or the wolf, turkey, deer, anything I'm not going to be using, I can get rid of. I've already got them backed up on the computer. I'm just taking them off the SD card for now. I can delete them, get rid of them. And that leaves just what I want on my collar when I'm using it. Okay, so now say you've you've gotten obtained sounds that you want to add to your collar. Now keep in mind the plus series callers from Icotech will not play MP3s. That's a whole nother tutorial on converting sounds. But for now, I've got sounds here that I'm going to add to my caller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to categorize them on the computer and then copy and paste to the SD card. I don't want to do a bunch of changes and renaming things and adding, you know, things and moving them around on the SD card. I want to do all that kind of work on the computer. So I've got, uh, what, 14 new sounds here that I'm going to add to the SD card. And as you see with the card, it puts everything, computers naturally do it, it puts everything in alphabetical order, okay? So I'm going to manipulate that when I create these folders because, say, I want these new sounds at the very top of my list when I turn my remote on. So I'm going to create new folders here. 
I've got all BFA sounds, so I'm going to name them uh, BFA Howls. And then I've got Fights on here I'm going to add. So I'll name them BFA Fights. And then I got a couple bird sounds I'm going to add. And I'll name them BFA bird. Okay, so now I got all the folders created and named. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to select the ones that I want to move. So the fights first. And that one, that one, and that one. I'll take those, highlight all of them, then just drag them up to the fights and drop them into that folder. Now I'm going to go howls. And how I'm doing that is just select the first how, then hit the control key, select all the others that pertain to howls. And then I'm going to release that control key and I will move them up to the howls folder. And then select the last three bird sounds, move them to the bird folder. So now I've got all the sounds categorized into three separate folders. Now, it's going to put these in alphabetical order when I move them over to my SD card. But I want them at the very top of my list. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and rename it. Okay, so I want my bird folder to be number three because I personally, I want the house being my very number one folder on my remote control. So I'll put a number one in front of it. And then I'll put a number two in front of the fights. And you'll see, I'll, I'll close this, reopen it, and it's going to have them one, two, and three. Okay, so now I've got all my sounds ready to add to my SD card. So I'm going to highlight all of them, copy all of them, and then I'm going to go over here to the SD drive, and I'm going to paste all of them. As you see here, now it's wrapping up the pasting. Those three folders that I just created and put on the SD card are now at the top. And then you can go through and, and on the SD card, go ahead and rename them, like adding a four to the coyote, if you want the coyote to be your fourth. Fourth folder. Renaming it on there, it moved it above. But if I close it, it, go back, and then go back, it'll have it reordered. So don't get too freaked out over where it places it while you're working. It's, you know, once you close that and open it back up, it'll have them all put in place. So there, I've added uh, new sounds to my SD card. I'll go ahead and close it. And then we're going to update the remote control. We've got the sounds added to our SD card. We'll remove that, move my laptop, put the card back in the collar. I'll grab my sync cable, um, packet, which is one with the two 3.5 millimeter jacks on each end plug into the sink port on the side of the collar. Then I'm going to turn the collar on. I'm going to plug into the side of the remote control and I'll turn it on and you'll see it'll go into update automatically. Transfer those new folders and sounds. It'll flash three times okay. And then it's going to display the list that's on my SD card. So I'll unplug everything. 
and you'll see at the top there I've got my number one folder of howls, fights, then bird, and that coyote folder that I renamed number four, all at the top of my list. I go in and I will select one of the howls and play it. I'm going to turn it down in here. So now I've successfully added new sounds to my Night Stalker Plus game call. So hopefully this tutorial helps, and thank you all for watching.